what his mind is so good at is the lightning flashes in which he illuminates things that don't seem to have any connection. He will take the subject and instead of approaching it in a linear fashion and this came first and then this and then this, he will pull in things from out of the air and say, look at, look at this through this. Sometimes it seems like a Brackish film goes by so fast that you don't really have time to react to it and you have to see it again or close your eyes and replay it. He strikes me as a, a real romantic, one of the last really serious poets in the cinema. If I close my eyes, I continue to see. I mean, a lot of adults lose that ability, but all children even rub their eyes to create uh, an intensification of fireworks or explosions, you know, in, and, and that's the first, what I call the first level of seeing yourself thinking. And uh, uh, then you see uh, what people would call abstract, which is why most adults, for, adults forget it, you know. It won't help you get a job or anything to see abstractly, like they say. But what we are aware of is that amidst those abstractions, we can commission uh, some memories, or we're prompted by things that happen to, to remember grandmother or whatever. But what interests me more and, and, and seems very much neglected is, is the abstractions in themselves which, which carry the true mood that a person is having. Uh, and then it becomes more than mood because those shapes uh, uh, um, that children rub their eyes to create explosions of, those shapes do form symbols, symbolic shapes like a heart, say, if science uh, comes up with a machine so you could tap into people's actual thinking process and then project whatever they're thinking as vision and put it up on a screen, I'm doing that laboriously by painting because we don't have any way to do that.